Today I am going to tell you about the efficiency of simple machine. This efficiency of simple machine can be defined by different methods, uh, different ways. The first way we can say that efficiency of the simple machine is the ratio of work done by the machine to the work done on the machine. Efficiency which is shortly denoted by eta sign. This is equal to work done by the machine work done by the machine upon work done on the machine okay i'm writing machine shortly okay this is the ratio of work done by the machine to the work done on the machine okay this is one method of uh, expressing efficiency of simple machine there is another method also we can say efficiency like this it is the ratio of work output to the work input look at this this is the ratio of work output to the work input in the simple machine is called efficiency of that simple machine and this can be defined this way also efficiency is the ratio of mechanical advantage to the velocity ratio in the simple machine efficiency is the ratio of mechanical advantage to the velocity ratio in the simple machine in all these case, three cases usually efficiency is expressed in terms of percentage i mean to say it is expressed in percentage that's why we can write this way also it is expressed in percentage so this way also expressed in percentage now I want to tell you what exactly the efficiency is uh, with a little more meaningful understanding. I want to take an example of this lever. Look at this is a lever let's see. If we have here fulcrum and we have to raise this load then we'll apply effort at this place. Okay when effort is applied or force is applied then it will turn. The force is applied it will turn and the load will raise to this position this force covers certain distance i mean to say force is displaced force and this displacement represents the work done on the simple machine this is work done on the simple machine here it is work done on the simple machine and as a result of this work done on the simple machine load is a kind of force it is raised to certain height here and that's why there is also displacement in load so uh, this load into load distance means here it is effort or force into effort distance here it is load into load distance what i mean to say when effort is applied it covers certain distance and work is done in this place and this work done is called work input this is work input or we can say this is work done on the machine this is work done on the machine as a result of work done on the machine certain amount of work is done by the machine also and this is called work output this is work output this is called work done by the machine here it is written work done by the machine the ratio of these two work is called actually efficiency and if it is expressed in percentage then we can multiply it with 100 this is the method of uh, representing efficiency so work input work output either we can say work the ratio of work output to the work input expressed in percentage or we can say work done by the machine ratio of work done by the machine to the work done on the machine expressed in percentage this is the efficiency these two work are not equal because certain amount of effort is wasted on uh, doing work because of the friction and because of the friction output work is always less input work is always more that's why machine does less work but uh, we have to do more work on the machine and this uh, is represented by efficiency but what about mechanical advantage and velocity ratio looking at this we can understand this very easily if efficiency is work output upon work input this is work output work output means load into let's say load distance we are writing this way okay and work input means what effort times effort distance okay 
and now if it is expressed in percentage hundred percent if it is so then I can write this way also this efficiency equal to load by effort in one place and I'm separating this load distance by effort distance in this place into hundred percent now if it is so then we can mathematically we can write load by effort is mechanical advantage and if it is multiplied by load distance of an effort distance then we can take it to this place this way in the denominator if we take it to denominator then it turns and it becomes what effort distance upon what load distance and this is equal this multiplied by 100 percent is the efficiency now have you noticed this this is equal to efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage of an effort distance by load distance the ratio of effort distance to the load distance is velocity ratio that's why mechanical advantage upon velocity ratio into 100 percent this is the uh, efficiency that's why we can define efficiency efficiency by three different ways number one it is the ratio of work done by the machine to the work done on the machine express in percentage number two it is the ratio of work output to the work input express in percentage and number three it is the ratio of mechanical advantage to the velocity ratio expressed in percentage okay this way we can understand efficiency very clearly okay this much for today